Hi, I'm Lee Reams, an enrolled agent with some tax tips about options for making cash contributions for 2020 that go beyond just writing a check. So one option is to make uh, charitable contributions with IRA funds. If you are age 70 and a half or over and have an IRA, you can have your IRA trustee transfer IRA funds up to, to $100,000 directly to a charity or charities of your choosing. Doesn't have to be 100,000, it could be 5,000, 10,000, whatever. Uh, and although the donation will not be tax deductible, the distribution will not be taxable either. Giving you an opportunity to help your favorite charity or charities in this time of need with untaxed funds. But one, one caution here, the donation must be transferred directly from the IRA account to the charity and you cannot, it cannot pass through your hands or there won't be, or it will be taxable. So for, uh, we have also the ability this year to uh, have larger than normal charitable contributions uh, that, are, that are possible in 2020. They only apply, this only rule only applies for 2020. Deduction on the limit for cash contributions has been increased and it's always been 60%. But for this year, it's been cash for cash contributions increased to 100% of your adjusted gross income, your AGI, which is, is just basically your income with the adjustments. And it's been done to, as, a, as a way to stimulate uh, more contributions of, for people in need during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So donations are properly figured using furniture and used, used, used examples are not eligible for this enhanced deduction. So in other words, you can't give away goods. It has to be cash and goods would not be uh, available for this new 100% AGI limitation. And also uh, another option for 2020 is the ability to deduct charitable contributions without itemizing. So itemizing your deductions mean filling out all of your allowable deductions on the IRS Schedule A. Itemized deductions is beneficial when they total more than the standard deduction amount based upon your filing status. Usually charitable contributions are allowed as a tax deduction only if you itemize your deductions. However, for 2020, that's just for that 2020 only, you can deduct up to $300 of cash charitable contributions, even when you are claiming the standard deduction. With the exception of donor advised funds and private foundation donations, most charitable contribution organizations will qualify. So you give any, any qualified charitable organization without going through in a donor, donor advised fund or private foundation, and these deductions would, these, this $300 amount will qualify. If you usually claim the standard deduction, you probably are not familiar with the documentation required uh, so here's a little brief rundown. These rules also apply to deducting your charitable contributions as part of your itemized deductions. So anyway, donations to qualified organizations need to be made by December 31st to be deductible on your 2020 tax return. Cash contributions include those made by cash, check, electronic funds transfer, or even by credit card. You cannot claim a cash contribution, donation or contribution, regardless of the amount, unless you have a bank record. And for, for tax purposes, a bank record includes canceled checks, bank or credit union statements, or a credit card statement showing the name of the qualified organization, the contribution date, and the amount of the contribution. A receipt or a letter or other written communications from a qualified organization showing the name of the organization, the date of the contribution, and the amount of the contributions can be substituted for a bank record. This means, for example, the money you put into the sidewalk Christmas kettle or a church collection plate without one of those records I just mentioned will not be deductible. To claim the deduction at contributions of $250 or more, you must also have written acknowledgement of the contribution from the qualified organization that includes the following details. The amount of cash contributed, whether the qualified organization gave you any goods or services, in other words, did you get anything for, for, for making your contribution, 
other than certain token items of membership benefits uh, as a result of the contribution. And in case of a, a church donation or something like that, it has to be uh, indicated that nothing, you didn't get anything of benefit other than uh, intangible religious benefits, if that is the case. There are additional documentation requirements for donations of property, such as used household goods and clothing given to Salvation Army, Goodwill Industries, and other similar organizations. Uh, that we, but we have not covered those in this discussion. We're only dealing here with, with cash contributions. Anyway, I guess that's it for this tax tip. So until next time, take care. Have a great holiday.